Good afternoon. I'm Regent Lyndall Manson from the Arizona Board of Regents and one of the co-chairs of the Search Committee, Search Advisory Committee for the 17th President of Northern Arizona University. I'm joined by my co-chair, Regent Fred Duvall. And when we started this process approximately five months ago, this is exactly where we hoped we would end up. I have the incredible pleasure of introducing to you today the finalist for the president of NAU, Dr. Jose Luis Cruz. He comes to us from the CUNY New York system, which is a system of 24 schools with over 500,000 students. He was a prior provost at Cal State Fullerton and serves as the chair of the board of the Education Trust, which is an uh, organization focused on uh, attainment and accessibility for students in higher education. Dr. Cruz has a core belief in the transformative value of higher education, and we are truly honored to have him here with us today. And with no further ado, I introduce you to Dr. Jose Luis Cruz. Thank you, Regent Manson and Regent Duval. Yate, buenas tardes, and hello, lumberjacks. Let me start by saying this. I could not be more honored and humbled to be chosen as the finalist to serve as the 17th president of Northern Arizona University. I wish so much that we could all share this moment together. But while the pandemic has made that impossible, I want you to know that I could not be more excited with the opportunity to lead NAU at this most critical time. While the pandemic has certainly changed the landscape, it has also brought the best out of all of us. And as I am here with you today, I could not help but reflect in the fact that this is a dream opportunity for me, and I am proud to join the strong lumberjack community of teachers, learners, advocates, and scholars. And I very much look forward to our work together as we chart the path forward and blaze the trail that would lead us to the bold and boundless future that awaits us. In fact, this is more than a dream opportunity for me. It is a dream job. You will see about 16 years ago, my now wife Rima Brusi and I had just started out as a couple and the first trip that we took together was to this part of the United States, this great um, Coconino County, Flagstaff community, and the Grand Canyon. And I have a picture to prove it. This is us back then. And one interesting thing about this story is that at that point in time, in a very uh, short uh, uh, venture into our journey in, in life together, we had one thing that was clear in our mind. We had to figure out a way to one day live here. And so we are really, really proud and satisfied and enthusiastic about the majestic and magical uh, forces that have brought us here today. Now I'm going to keep my remarks brief. That's in keeping with a pledge I'll make to you right now. I'm going to hit the ground learning by investing time in listening to you in the weeks and months ahead. I want to learn from you as we build together on the fabulous legacy at this vital institution, an institution that for 120 years has seen as its mission one of being student-centered and one of helping others fulfill their full potential. It has been said that a university must reflect the soul of its people, their values, their stories, their aspirations. To do so, a university must also empower the people it serves and the communities they represent to have greater agency of, over their destinies at both an individual and collective level. This is why it's important to let place and community determine the nature of the university's work and why it is critical that the university's sense of purpose 
be sustained by a sense of urgency. And so it is that Northern Arizona University's legacy of providing excellent educational opportunities, broadening the frontiers of knowledge in key strategic areas for the region and the nation, and serving as a strong steward of place, sets it apart from all other public comprehensive universities in our nation. Imagine, NAU was founded as Arizona Normal College over 120 years ago, with just 23 students and two faculty members. The university has come so far. I will build on the legacy of great university leaders like President Eugene Hughes, who expanded NAU to serve the entire state, and President Clara Lovett, who championed distance learning, President John Hager, who helped lead NAU's growth into the modern institution it is today, and of course, President Rita Cheng, who brought increased academic distinction to NAU through research and global engagement. I am also mindful that NAU is built on indigenous land and in the shadow of sacred mountains. With this honor comes a solemn obligation to our many Native students. And I'm proud that NAU ranks among the nation's top 10 institutions in terms of both bachelor's and master's degrees awarded to students of tribal descent. Under my leadership, we are going to remain committed to the success of these and all of our nearly 30,000 students in Flagstaff, online, and statewide. And they use focus on student success is part of what makes this university so special. And we will continue to sharpen this focus. You see, I would not be anywhere near here today were it not for the opportunities afforded to me by public higher education. A university's focus on the success of its students not only establishes it as an engine of opportunity, but also as a vehicle of upward mobility and a driver of transformative change. Hence why I have dedicated my professional career to advancing the tenets of educational equity and inclusive excellence. Now that I've told you a little bit about me, I want to tell you what I believe. I believe NAU is stronger when the administration and faculty work together in a spirit of shared governance. I believe NAU is inseparable from the community in which it resides, Flagstaff, and that we rise or fall together. I believe in retaining and supporting our faculty members to advance their mission of teaching, research, and service. I believe in accountability, transparency, and open communication. I believe diversity and inclusion are not just words on paper, but instead a call to action that when heated makes our university more resilient and adaptable to a changing world. Lastly, I believe in putting students at the center of everything we do, everything we do. They must prove themselves essential to everything we do. That's exactly what NAU, do, NAU is doing. It helps grow our next generation of classroom teachers by training the nurses, occupational therapists, and healthcare professionals we need now more than ever, and conducting the research necessary to better understand our impacts on the environment and much more. COVID-19 has challenged and changed our world in unexpected ways, and NAU is no exception. But I believe in my heart that NAU and its students and faculty are prepared to emerge, as I said earlier, from this crisis stronger, more unified, and better prepared for a shared future. And indeed, you've more than demonstrated your worth during this pandemic. Just a few examples. NAU nursing and physician assistant students assisted as part of the public health response in tribal and other underserved communities. NAU monitors help predict the virus spread in Northern Arizona. NAU's Klein Library Marker Lab partnered with Guardian Air, a division of Northern Arizona Healthcare, to 3D print PPE masks for medical professionals. And the Arizona COVID-19 Genomics Union, co-founded by NAU Regents Professor Paul Klein, is working to track the virus and develop therapeutics. I'm proud to be joining a university making such a monumental impact in this community and the world. In closing, 
I want to say thank you to Chairman Penley and the Arizona Board of Regents for the trust you've placed in me. I'm also deeply grateful to the search advisory committee members, President Chang, and each of the university and community leaders who have taken time to speak with me and share their wisdom. Today is just the first day. In the days ahead, I look forward to meeting many more of you. And please know, this is exactly where I want to be, here in this moment, in one of the most absolutely gorgeous places on Earth, leading Northern Arizona University as we embark on this time of unparalleled challenge and opportunity. Indeed, the colors, smells, and sounds of this majestic place have been part of my imagination for the more than 15 years that have transpired since my wife Rima and I first visited Coconino County together as a couple. I am in this for the long run, and my family and I are very much looking forward to becoming lumberjacks for life and building a beautiful life together in FLAG. I cannot wait to get started. Thank you, and go lumberjacks. <laughs>